Thanks for nothing, Google. What I wanted to show you is how easy it is to watch yourself and other live streams on your tablet device. On the computer. On the computer. Yeah. Go ahead and hit play there. Okay. It's right oh, there I see. It's so, so simple. You see your face? Oh yeah, it's me with a huge fat fucking face. Yeah, I didn't want I didn't want to be the one to say it. Yeah, I I've been having a lot of trouble. My doctor, he said uh, he's not a very nice guy. He said uh, open your mouth and say oink. Yeah, you need to get better insurance, Norm. Insurance. <laughs> he was calling me a fat pig. Well, I mean, nobody's going to disagree with him. Oh. Kasim. I'm sorry, Norm. <laughs> I've got an acid tongue. <laughs> you do. You're an acid-tongued Arab. <laughs> and there's Charles Woodson. How about that? Oh, what a season he had. <laughs> Great, Manny. He became the first defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, Charles. That is something that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case... <laughs> Yeah, I love Lost. You ever uh, watch Lost? Yeah, I'm obsessed with the show. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 yeah I'm you, still right? watching it. I yeah. watch it. Uh, I watch it on the uh, on the link. No, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that working? On the computer, uh -huh. where you can watch like one at a, you can watch them right after each other. So you right. don't have. There's no cliffhanger, you know. Yeah, you I know about to, that. You probably watch it a lot. Six. Do you think I'm eighty? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, you probably watched the show, though. I did. I watched it during so the... So that must have been yeah. incredibly frustrating. No, it wasn't. Why would you say that? Well, because uh, because I couldn't wait uh, 30 seconds to get into it on right. my DVD. Sometimes it's better to space things days. out, though, and discuss it with your friends, have a little talk about what happened, and then you wait, have to wait a week, and it's, you know, it's delayed gratification. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's fun about a book club. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh... <laughs> We're joined by the talented trio called the Lonely Island. Yeah, who you will know be what I on call the them? What do you call them? I call them Sandberg and the other couple of fellows. <laughs> the Mind Squad the is, how, is how Rolling Stone put it. I, I got a, I got a heavy foot. There's a real stream of consciousness thing happening here, Norm. Yeah, it's called conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you talking about Melrose Place? <laughs> You're the biggest ass I ever met. <laughs> I love you for it. No, because I swear to God, and when I lived in L.A., I lived in, on in the actual street called Melrose Place. There's an actual street. There's a Melrose? Is there really a Melrose There's really Place? There's a Melrose, a Melrose Place. Place. Okay. You All know right. this, right? Yes, it's true. So they opened a restaurant called Melrose Place on it, uh -huh. and then it's right beside my house, and every time I go out, there's all these retards, like tourists, and then these tourist retards, like they're always fat and they're taking pictures, standing in front of this restaurant. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> you are making a movie with Carrot Top, right? I made a movie with Carrot Top. Okay. <laughs> you made a movie with Carrot Top. It's, it's not out yet. No, it's can not out Can you put the yet. picture up of Carrot Top again just so we can all see him? She just did. Oh, there it is, again, yeah. There it is! All right. Okay. Wait a minute, she left Melrose Place to do a movie with Carrot Top? <laughs> That's where I'm going, my friend. He was great, he did a wonderful job. Do you have a scene where you and, and you, you and him embrace? Yeah, lots of making out. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Nothing but making out. All right. It's like nine and a half weeks, but Carrot Top. <laughs> we were doing. Wow! I gotta check out that movie. Is it called Nine and a Half Seconds? <laughs> But uh, what's the movie going to be called? Well, really? I know what it's going to be called. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> if it's got Carrot Top in it, you know what a good name for it would be? What's that, Norm? Box Office Poison. <laughs> I'm in two. Oh, She's oh, in it. What about my career? Courtney Thorne Smith. Well, there's this two-hour season finale of Melrose Place. There's this movie coming out. Yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the board. Oh, all right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> I, I bet the board is spelled B-O-R-E-D. <laughs> That's the very best I will best say, in, in all sincerity, I know you don't like to hear these things. 
emotions. You're like Nixon. And <laughs> I'm like Nixon. <laughs> but, but I will say, I was watching last night. I saw speed uh, speed skating, and uh, my goodness, you know, could the outfits they wear be any tighter? Holy Lord! There was an East German woman. I swear, you could see the outline of her entire penis. It was. <laughs> This is Viagra. It's insane. <laughs> and you know what it's for? Impotent people. All right? yeah. It's for impotent guys. So get this. The, the, I read this. The, 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 the pill can make your cock hard for four hours. Right. So now, who has the four-hour hard cock? The impotent guy. <laughs> the rest of us are fucked. Me and you. <laughs> me and you got our regular cocks. Meanwhile, fucking Spade is, uh, you know... <laughs> Of course, that's a big story in here uh, in Washington is the, the recent marriage between NBC's Andrea Mitchell and Alan Greenspan, who is 71 years old. And this is sweet, you know, I didn't know this. They wrote their own vows, you know. She, uh, she promised to love, honor, and speak into his good ear. So that was... It's was, was kind of sweet, you know. We'll see. It'll be fun. Hey, Norm, thanks for dressing up. Hey, yeah. Sarah, listen, man. Uh, congratulations. That is the hundredth time that to read. I almost forgot. I was supposed to. I was told to make this announcement. Uh, table 10, wherever you are, table 10. We're sorry your waitress hasn't been there in a while. Uh, Larry King just married her. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you have a hero? Uh, Norman Fell from Three's Company. That's your hero? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Roper. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Roper? Yeah. That's not a good hero. <laughs> it's all I got. <laughs> Better than this guy's hero is some gay porn actor. But anyway. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Boomer Esiason is with us. Boomer. Boomer, of course, will replace Frank Gifford on Monday Night Football uh, next season. And uh, Frank, uh, Frank told reporters that this will allow him to spend more time with his wife and children. Then he broke down and cried for 45 minutes. So, <laughs> what the hell am I? And here I am, you know, I look out, I see President Bill Clinton, you know, I see Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. You know, media mogul Rupert Murdoch, you know, uh, broadcast legend Larry King, you know, uh, pornographer Larry Flint, you know, Dick Morris. The list is starting to drop off a little, folks, but still, you get the idea. It's daunting. Well, there's all kinds of sports celebrities in the audience tonight. I see Tiger Wood right there. Tiger Woods, how about that, huh? He's up for golf, of course. He's up for golfer of the year. Uh, this uh, this SP is, and you know who I feel sorry for, uh, folks, is the other two guys nominated for golfer of the year. <laughs> you see these guys getting ready, you know? It's like, hey, honey, have you seen my tuxedo? No, no, not the good one. The one I wear when I'm going to get my ass kicked. Have you seen that one? <laughs> We got a lot of power here, a lot of juice. Mr. Rule Arledge is here, of course, the chairman of ABC News, you know, and uh, a lot of crazy stories coming out of that division, you know? <laughs> you know, stories about this person sleeping with that person and all that, you know? Scandal after scandal. And if you heard the latest, I heard this just the other day. There's a rumor that last week, a certain, I don't want to say who it is, a certain gentleman in ABC News, he went to a party and he got really drunk and he ended up having sex with his own wife. I don't know. 